Hello, Chef here with yet again another recipe for you. Uh, what do we have here? Can you identify this cut of beef? Well, likely not, but that's okay. You're amongst the majority. Beef is an unusual, tricky item to cook, and once you've mastered how to cook each cut, you're going to be much better at selecting them in the store and, and cooking in general. You can see, first of all, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, silver skin, a little fat marbling here. Of course the butcher put this down in the package. This is the top. This is what you see. Okay, so now that you're wondering what is this? It's USDA inspected Angus and this one here we call a uh, flat iron. So it's a flat iron steak. Alright, so these come in different sizes. I've seen them really big, big chunks. This is a small piece. Uh, this will be several servings, even though uh, one could consume this upon themselves. Uh, it's better to combine it with other uh, starches and vegetables, much healthier for your diet. So I'll be adding this to something else later. I just wanted to show you really quickly how to work some magic onto a flat iron steak. So first of all, you want to remove some of this chewy stuff here, because this, it, it just doesn't taste good. It's not good in your mouth and uh, it's kind of hard to get through. So you want to remove that off of there. Just a little bit. They okay, left a little on there. Uh, because you don't see it and because it weighs something. So the butcher saves a little bit of time and money right there. But I do like to get this stuff out if I can. Yeah, it's not the tastiest part of the, the beef there. Okay, so that's about all I'm going to take out right there. One more piece right there okay now that's looking good the rest of this looks pretty edible uh, this is a really nice cut of meat if you handle it correctly okay so uh, now moving right along I'm only adding a few things to this minimal effort uh, so first of all this this the grain runs this way on this piece of beef this flat iron gets sliced across like this I'll show you really quickly what I got here I got 10 peppercorns. I'm going to smash them. There we go. We got some peppercorns, a little garlic there too. I got two cloves of garlic. I'm going to smash them right there. I'm going to rub those babies all over the beef. Uh huh. So I've got garlic, peppercorns, and right over here I've got uh, shallots, a tablespoon of diced dried shallots. Sea salt of course goes all over this steak both sides generous amount of sea salt don't forget to click that little like button right down there so that we know you like the video and you want to see more share it with your friends and if you need custom butcher block counters tabletops even this end grain it's oh so nice to cut on contact the sponsor they're having a sale and I know there's free shipping as well yeah, that, that is the good stuff right there. Uh, the peppercorns, I'm going to rub them right in like this. Uh-huh. Rub those peppercorns in both sides. And the shallots, I'm going to rub those babies in both sides. And the garlic, I'm going to rub it in both sides. All right, so this is looking good. Obviously, I'm working on the block now. I like to work on the block with a lot of my meats, my foods. Yeah, look at that. All those spices and flavorings are now on the meat where they should be. Stainless steel mixing bowl, a must have in your kitchen. Meat goes in the bowl, all the ingredients go right in. What am I missing? Oh yeah, exactly. Extra virgin olive oil. You want to oil your steak on both sides so it doesn't stick to the grill and uh, it's just going to be way, way, way more flavorful. Yeah, uh, another chef tip here, save some money for you. Buy your olive oil in cans, only buy extra virgin olive oil. Refill the bottle yourself, you're saving money. Hit up the sponsor for these babies, olive oil drizzler tip things and uh, the balls and of course maple butcher blocks, you got to have one. I'll be back to finish this up. Thanks for watching. 
Okay, the steak was slow cooked here over the hot coals. Looking really, really good. And I just give it a quick slice going against the grain. I want to show you what I got here. Yeah, that's a perfect tri tip right there. Mm hmm. Looking really, really good. I'll zoom in on that for you. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, tri-tips looking good. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, share, check out your sponsors, get cooking, have a great day. Okay, I got 20 again. Yeah, you can see those are pretty nice cuts. These are precise cuts. Uh, you're not going to do this with a regular kitchen knife. Trust me. This pear is r really, really ripe. And this knife is razor sharp. So already I've got a pretty neat pattern right there, right? Just by putting them back together like this and cutting right down the middle. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go, 80 really nice slices of pear. I'm gonna fold this this way and this way. I'm making homemade vanilla extract. I wanna show you these awesome vanilla beans. Monsters label right here, Chef Depot label. Uh, you want to use these together or your own homemade with the beans. Yeah, use these together in any recipe and wow, it's going to really, really kick. You're going to improve it greatly. Uh, I'm going to let you go now. Smash that like button. Subscribe, share. This is a great project for you, your family, or your friends. Uh, in case you're wondering, I've been smoking this over hardwood coals and cherry for quite a while. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. Looking good. Uh, don't pry with them too much, okay? A little bit's okay. You can see what I got going on here. Oh uh, yeah looking really cool I like it I'm gonna eat that all right so I got these two pieces already and this melon's looking pretty cool yeah. hit up your sponsor and get the good stuff yeah get cooking and have a beautiful day it's gonna be good oh, I can't help myself I like to put a little extra detail on the handle here. Make sure you uh, leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe. Score all the cool stuff at your sponsor. 
get cooking and of course for the recipe subscribe and watch the chef's other videos you're gonna find it sourdough bread oh it's gonna be good chef here I want to talk to you today just real quickly about knife selection as well as knife maintenance By the way, this set's about 10 years old, looks brand new. These knives function perfectly, well-maintained, well-sharpened. I take care of them. Subscribe on this channel and learn a lot more about knives and knife sets. And with that, get cooking. Have a great day. Okay, I got my steamed asparagus on there. It's looking really good. The last thing I'm going to add to finish this drunken porterhouse recipe is some of the drunken juice right over the top like this. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right down there. Get cooking. Try the recipe. Have a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. I've got some homemade clam chowder here. I put extra clams in there. Lots of potatoes, some thyme. It's good to go. Make sure you subscribe. You can check out some of the soup recipes that I've decided to share. Black pepper. I love it. Oh, yeah. Let's put a little extra grind on there. If you want one, you can visit the sponsor and you can check them out right there. They got all kinds of them at the sponsor. Uh, Star anise. Oh, it's a really, really nice quality. Hard to find. And the gloves. Whole garlic. Super high antioxidant. You already know that from watching my other videos. If you want to learn more about garlic, it's real, real simple. Subscribe right down here. Put garlic in the little search engine and you're going to find all kinds of things. Garlic facts, garlic nutrition, garlic recipes, how to roast garlic, how to chop garlic, how to mince garlic, how to dice garlic. All kinds of cool stuff. I love it and I eat a lot of it every day. Boost your immunity.